Hey, how you doing guys? In this video, I have five games that are perfect for teaching English online. Online teaching definitely has a lot of pros and cons. So some of the pros, you don't have to travel to work. You don't have to deal with those annoying workmates you don't get on with. Uh, you can teach there in your pants and socks as long as the camera is above the waist level. However, there are also some cons. So whether that is slow internet or even worse, no internet connection at all. A lot of us start online teaching a bit like this. Hello? Hello? Uh, can, can you see? Can you see me? Can you see me? Uh, I, I can't see you. I can't see. I can't see them. Uh, here. Can, can you hear me? Uh, listen. Can you hear me? I can't. I can't hear you. I can't hear. I can't hear them. Can't. Ugh. At the moment, I'm using Ding Talk to do my online classes. It definitely has some limitations. But these games will work well for any online video software. Let's take a look at game number one. Game number one I call Find Something. Most of your students will be taking class from home. Use this to your advantage. At the beginning of class, ask your students to go and find something blue, for example. So they run off, come back, come back. The first student shows something blue, they are the winner, okay? You can teach whatever the word is to the kids. Try again, find something red, find something yellow, find something big, find something small. Up to you. Another variation to this game, have them find something beginning with a certain letter. For example, if you say A, the students run off, Come back, probably come back with, say, an apple. It's an apple. Good job. You're the winner. Try again. Okay, find something with letter G. So they run over. One kid pushes the grandmother in front of the camera. It's my grandmother. Game number two, I call What Do I Have? This game is a guessing game for the students. They can begin. What does the teacher have? You have a... A hamburger, you have a potato, you have a tomato. <laughs> then give them some clues. Okay, uh, something, it's a superhero. What is it? Uh, you can, something to do with sport. What is it? Blah, blah, blah. So give different topics. Uh, my students love this game. Let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, what do I have? Mm, you can eat, you can eat it. What is it? What do I have? Chocolate. No. Banana. It's a vegetable. Cabbage. It's orange. Carrot. Yeah, it's a carrot. <laughs> just drop the egg. So here is the egg that just fell on the floor. Now I need to clean this before my wife sees and go and get another egg. I'll be back. Okay, you can eat for breakfast. Sausage. Bacon. Not bacon. Egg. Yeah! Yeah! Game number three is a drawing game. Draw what I say. So, let's take a look at how the game is played. Okay, so draw a very large circle on your paper. Uh, next, draw a small house. There are two windows and one door. Uh, the house is not so small, okay? Now, there is a chimney on top of the roof where Santa goes down the chimney and there is smoke coming out the chimney. Now behind the house there is a tree. So behind the house there is a tree. Now draw a man on top of the tree. He is happy and waving his hand. Okay, 
Okay, good job. Now, does your picture look like mine? Let's take a look. Game number four, I call Guess the Sound. Now, for younger students, you can get some great PPTs from the website en.islcollective.com. Amazing different animal sounds for your younger students. If you want to make it more difficult for older students, you can find many different sound effects of pretty much anything you want. So let's take a quick look at an example of how I play the game. Game number five, I call the Zoom In Game. On my channel, I've already made two videos, I'll list in the description below so you guys can check it out. So the, the first picture is zoomed in so much. If they guess the correct word, offer five points. Second picture, four. Third is three. Fourth is two. The last one is worth one point. Try this one out. The kids and parents love it.